from the closest vantage point we'll ever see, Perseverance shot some pictures of Ingenuity's final resting place and then drove away. The images reveal new details of the crash site that may help explain the final moments of its last flight on this episode of Mars Guy. The epic journey of Perseverance and Ingenuity came to an end in January for the little helicopter after its catastrophic landing among the sand ripples of Neretva Vallis. The events that ended its flying career remain a mystery, making images from cameras on Perseverance key for collecting evidence. Perseverance had been closing the distance between it and Ingenuity, although struggling in the terrain along the southern edge of Neretva Vallis. As I presented in the previous episode, the drive on Sol 1110 ended here within about 378 meters of ingenuity. Here's a panorama from the nav cam, beautifully processed by Simeon Schmaus, and here's Mars Guy for scale. As in many recent drives, this one ended with perseverance stopping and then backing away from terrain it considers hazardous, like drifted sand. The view to the north captures Neret Vivalis and the large sand ripples that cover the floor of this ancient river channel. From here, the 110 mm zoom lens of Mass Cam Z was used to acquire a high resolution mosaic of the channel, which Simeon has merged with the larger Navcam panorama. The transition from rock strewn floor to sand covered channel is nicely displayed in this mosaic showing the change in landscape that ultimately created navigation challenges for ingenuity. Huge boulders and outcrops line the channel, attesting to its ongoing erosion billions of years after raging floodwaters first carved it. And dwarfed by this landscape is ingenuity, parked on a ripple whose shifting sand may someday bury it. The previous view from about 40 meters further east had the advantage of images from the telescope of the SuperCam instrument. These showed ingenuity with a missing rotor blade and three others with damaged tips. Two footprints in the sand indicate that ingenuity must have come down on two legs first before landing on all four. A gouge in the sand visible in images from ingenuity's cameras suggested a possible location of contact by the spinning rotors that resulted in the blade loss and damage. But its small size and orientation are perhaps difficult to reconcile with this hypothesis. Now from the more western location of Perseverance, the other side of the sand ripple is visible for the first time. It looks like there are disturbances in the sand opposite ingenuity. No supercam images were acquired, or they've not been made available, but it appears that there are at least three and maybe four disturbed areas. Compared to the known footprints, two of them are very elongated, so either due to feet dragging through the sand or contact by spinning rotor blades. In either case, it seems pretty clear that Ingenuity first made contact with the ground on the western side of the ripple before coming to rest on the eastern side. And in a literal twist, the new view of the detached blade some 15 meters away shows that it has not yet come to rest. Sometime between the images taken on February 24th and April 3rd, wind managed to rotate the blade maybe a quarter of a turn. Not too surprising given their very light weight and airfoil shape. In the stalls after this image was taken, Perseverance has moved on in directions that are adding distance between it and Ingenuity. So this parting shot of Ingenuity will probably be the last look at it we ever get.